How's it going, Ada fans? Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's today's two minute Tuesday tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about a common message that new customers get when they plug in their cameras for the first time signal out of range. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, a little bit more about our cameras. We ship all of our cameras, with the exceptions of our PTZs, at 1080p 30 frames. This is a great middle ground for broadcast standards and is widely used in many broadcast workflows today. With that said, you take your new ADA camera out of the box and you plug it into your ingest and you get this specific error message, signal out of range. So the question is, why are you getting this error message? Well, it's because most consumer equipment nowadays only support full HD resolution. That means 1080p 60. Usually this issue is fixed by TVs as they are built to auto adapt to resolutions like this, but when it comes to monitors and switchers, they are hard set on that specific resolution they are using. The cameras are no different. For example, right here I have a fresh HD 100A straight out of the box and I want to plug it into my Samsung monitor. However, upon connecting it to the monitor, you'll notice that I get that specific error message out of range. This is how you fix it. So all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your camera and you're going to plug it into a TV or monitor that supports uh, multiple resolutions. So in this case, we have a 4K60 Samsung TV. As mentioned earlier, these TVs support adaptive resolution, so it will automatically detect your 1080p 30 resolution. Once I get a picture, I'm going to use the OSD controls to enter the menu, find setup, and change the resolution to 1080p 60p. Once I find it, I click enter, and voila, it is setting. Once the menu comes back up, I'm going to quickly exit and uh, bring, bring it back to the monitor that I first tried it on. Upon plugging it back in, you will now see that it now works. And that is it for today's tutorial. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any more Two Minute Tuesdays. As for any video suggestions, we always appreciate them and leave them in the comment section below. That way I can get to it next time. Appreciate you. Have a good day.